Guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're gonna cover a topic that I see all over Firepunk Forum, all over Facebook. I've seen it on Comp D before. It is talking about clipping your water pump. Now, uh, one of the subscribers pointed out that we did not put thread and freeze plugs in this head. I did that for two reasons. Number one, I didn't care. Number two, I was like, what a great teaching moment to talk about clipping water pumps because this truck does spin a lot of RPM. Those freeze plugs can come unwedged. I've had it happen to me before in the 05 in Sacramento. Um, so we're gonna cover the clipping of a water pump. There are, I'm sure a million ways to do it. This is the way I do it. And I haven't seen anybody tackle this video with any justice, I thought. So I know a lot of you guys modify your trucks, spin a lot of RPM. I'm gonna show you guys how to clip your water pump, in my, my opinion, the right way and kind of show you the different style of water pumps. I think I have two different styles here to show you. Um, from my experience, there's three types. You have your metal thin one. I've seen the plastic thin ones, which when I ordered a Gates water pump for a 2011 Cummins, it came with a plastic impeller. I do not like the plastic impellers to me. It just seems like a failure point. Um, so I wouldn't recommend those. Then you have your open metal impeller. That's the most common one. And then on some of the older 12 valve, 24 valve trucks, I have seen them come with the shielded metal impeller. It's got like a retaining ring on the outside. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys each of those pumps and show you which ones can be modified and which ones can't be modified. Okay, so here are your two common water pumps. Again, you'll see another one that looks like this that's made out of plastic. Um, I haven't ever had it happen to me, but I've had people tell me that it will actually spin on this shaft. But there is another variation of the cast um, wheel one where there's it's kind of flat here um, and it still has the fins. But these are the two most common you'll find at the auto parts store. This is the shielded style. Again, this one will not work to um, trim like that. I mean, I guess you maybe could if you could get this ring off. But basically, this is the style that you're going to be able to modify. Um, and it's pretty simple. You guys can see here, you have a total of five fins. There are many different ways to skin this cat. I've seen guys just grind two of them down. I've seen guys grind all of them down. In my mind, this is a spinning shaft. So what I do is I actually take them off evenly. Um, I try to make them as even as possible and I achieve this with just the flap wheel. So what I do is I try to grind them off. The more of the fin you take off, the less coolant will circulate. Um, I would not recommend this for like a tow truck, but for something that you're gonna hot rod around, a lot of RPM, you're gonna go on to go ahead and clip this. Uh, even if you have the thread and freeze plugs, you can run into some coolant pressurization problems. So this is kind of a easy mod. And the reason why you don't run, or you do do this, the electric water pumps are not meant for everyday use. The electric ones have cost one of my buddies out in Kentucky, uh, blew a head gasket while we were at KOS because his electric water pump failed. Electric water pumps, in my opinion, are great for race trucks. Um, maybe a weekend warrior, but if you're gonna daily drive it, I do not recommend it unless you wanna keep a spare one and hope you catch it when it finally does shut off. Um, I've personally had two of the Summit ones fail on me in one season. So again, I just don't recommend them for everyday drivers. That's why we clip the factory water pumps. Okay, I'm not gonna go into much detail on removing a water pump, okay? Take the belt off, take the two 10 mil bolts on the water pump off, make sure you drain your coolant out, pop that sucker off. That is all you gotta do. Very simple. I even saw a guy do a YouTube video on it today. It is not hard. Just make sure you drain the coolant out. To get that little bugger unbolted, sometimes they're a little stuck to the block. Um, not a big deal. Just get it fished out. I usually pull it out through the side. So as you guys can see, I have the metal impeller on this one. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one ground down. We're gonna go ahead and grind it. Basically what I do is I'm just gonna make a little mark here, the permanent marker so I can kind of see what I'm taking off. So we're gonna machine, well when I say machine, we're gonna use a flap wheel on an angle grinder and take this down. Again, basically we're just making the fin smaller. That way 
the water pump doesn't move as much volume at the high RPM and cause us any excessive coolant problems. probably knock down a little bit of the burrs but trimmed it down quite a bit and we'll just finish her up all right no more burrs reduce the capability of this water pump now all we gotta do is just clean it off i recommend a little brake clean compressed air and we'll put it back in and hope it doesn't start leaking. I believe the torque spec on these is like, I don't know, 15, 18 foot pounds. We'll hook the belt back up. And now you guys will be able to spin all the RPM on this little bad boy. Again, doesn't take long. Uh, my thought process is by trimming all five kind of evenly, you keep this impeller balanced versus when guys will trim down just two of them. I feel like it, I don't know if it'll last forever that way or if it even lasts forever this way, but in my mind, something that's spinning that fast, removing the material evenly, I feel like it's more important. So we got our water pump reinstalled. Again, I don't know, just go freaking hand tight on the bolts, guys. Use your best judgment and subtract 10%. Now all we gotta do is throw the belt on. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up tonight's video on clipping your water pump again really simple to do seen a lot of guys not know how to do it or completely butcher this that's how i do it again you can remove the two fins and leave three i just there's got to be some kind of a balancing system at 5000 plus rpm with that thing so i choose to just remove as best i can even amount between them all uh if you guys have any other questions stuff like that go ahead and drop it in the comment section and i try to reply to you guys as best i can um as always, guys, make sure you like this video, subscribe. We're going to continue on with the 07. Uh, the 05 is about to start heating up for the year, and we'll also have some pretty cool tech videos along the way. And I appreciate you guys. I will catch you on the next one.